Today we are going to crack open some uh, new Hot Wheels. Uh, these have been a bit of a rarity uh, um, around my area lately. It's been <laughs> surprisingly hard to find anything. Um, but uh, these are going to mostly be from 2022 F-Case. And uh, the first uh, first release we have is this Honda S2000. Uh, this casting uh, was first released in 2011 and uh, was actually released in yellow. That was the first version that they ever put out. So we get another yellow version now. The, uh, the original one had black wheels. Um, I'm sure they were different wheels as well. I do not have that release, but uh, this one looks pretty cool. Um, so we're getting more tampo passes, which is an awesome thing to see. So this actually has four, four tampo passes. So you get full detail front and rear, and then you get some side tampos as well, uh, which is a uh, very, cool I like this casting quite a bit it's very neat we have the 91 Mazda MX-5 Miata in a very wacky looking livery and uh, just generally wacky design rotiform graphics on the on the hood um, so again I th you know what they're doing with the the tampos this year is uh, is pretty cool. It's definitely giving them some more flexibility, I think. Um, so here, this is kind of a I guess a drift style uh, livery on here, you might say. Um, although I don't know, I'm sure this uh, this probably means something, and I just didn't, I'm don't know what it is. <laughs> um, so it's a pretty cool looking version, though. Uh, not my favorite version, but it's kind of neat. Uh, this, this thing originally came out, um, in blue in 2019, and, uh, then we got it in red. And my favorite version was this yellow one, which is a very cool version. I think that one looks really nice. Does this one displace that? Definitely not. It's okay. And we have the... 70 Chevelle SS Wagon. Uh, this is the first version of this casting I have. I have not had this one before. It's a very cool car. Um, again, chrome, chrome base, so you're getting chrome bumpers and, and uh, rear uh, rear detail, no 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 tampos on the front or the back though, which is a little unfortunate. But you do get graphics on the roof and the sides, which is pretty cool. So this is, I think, a fairly old casting, '70 Chevelle. It doesn't actually have the date on here. Um, yeah, I don't know when this one originated. I'm sure it's probably a fairly old one though. But it's cool. I'm very happy to finally have a version of this to add to the collection. And another casting that I do not have a version of yet is the 2020 Corvette. Um, have several versions from Matchbox, but uh, I don't believe I have ever found a Hot Wheels version. Um, so this one looks pretty good in blue. Uh, Matchbox did a really fantastic job on this casting, though, so I think uh, it's kind of tough for Hot Wheels to to beat that one, um, especially since they did the asymmetric wheel design which they uh, you know love to do at Hot Wheels but uh, it's pretty cool I definitely like the Matchbox version better though we have two versions of this gasser uh, 55 Chevy Bel Air gasser you know everybody loves <laughs> loves these gassers so uh, this one uh, this one I believe is uh, replicates Brendan Vitusky's real world Gasser, so the Hot Wheels designer. Um, so the first version that came out was this one in green. This was in the B case, 2022 B case, and then we get it a get the recolor in kind of a purplish, light purple, I guess, from F case. So obviously this is a casting. It's been around for a while. Put out in. <laughs> Who knows how many different versions. <laughs> Got to be one of the most popular Hot Wheels castings um, around. 
I, I think it's pretty cool. It is definitely not high on my list of favorites for Hot Wheels castings, but uh, I do I do enjoy picking them up every once in a while, at least when I can find them. Uh, never like this this casting is so ridiculously popular. Like the premium versions, like they did the that Hoonigan gray version in Boulevard, which uh, was impossible, absolutely impossible to find. And uh, so I never, <laughs> I never got it because it's not something I'm willing to, to pay extra for, and I never found it in store. So, uh, you know, oh well. Now we have the Mercedes Benz A Class in yellow. Hot Wheels hatchbacks. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really like this casting for some reason. I I don't fully know why uh but this version with the yellow yellow rings around the wheels mm, yeah i'm gonna say this is not my favorite version you do get you know detail on the back and on the front stripe on the roof is cool but uh the uh other versions of this are definitely definitely better um oh there it is okay so here's the <laughs> this is the recolor the yellow this was the original release in in metallic blue um, so this came out uh, earlier this year, and then the uh, first version was a 2019 mainline in white, which the, I, I I always like white cars with black wheels. That's uh, my favorite favorite thing. So this is uh, this is my favorite version of the car. I think I really like this blue one quite a bit as well, but uh, this one in white looks really good. And uh, then that was followed up with one in red which looks pretty good as well and then kind of a weird flat gray which is uh which is pretty pretty neat and then the Forza Horizon version which is it's okay it's not the best but uh yeah anyway all right moving on <laughs> get these guys out of the way then we have the Toyota AE86 Sprinter Tureno. Oh, I can never say this. Tureno. Um, in red. I believe there was a white version of this that came out earlier this year. Uh, I, I did not manage to find one of those yet. But this looks cool. In red. Graphics on the side and the back pop-up headlights but no uh, no tampos on the headlights so I was thinking this was the first version of this uh, casting that I have but then I realized that um, this was actually introduced in Boulevard so the first version of this came out in 2020 in the Boulevard series in this white version with the black hood which is really cool and then I also had the other premium version which came out in Slide Street which is also a really cool version of the car. So these two are both very nice, but this is the first mainline version that I've picked up. So that's pretty cool to see. We have the Mazda Repu pick, pickup truck in green. Uh, this is a recolor. Came out earlier this year in orange. And uh, you know, Tampo's all the way around, which is awesome to see. It says rotary power, so the Mazda rotary engine, which is pretty cool, a fascinating kind of engine. So green with white wheels, and then the earlier version was orange with silver wheels. And uh, my uh, particular example of this uh, <laughs> is not in the best of shape. Came out of the package with a little bit of damage, which is a bit unfortunate, but. Uh, I think I like the orange one better. The green is is okay. This this truck has been put out in some really cool versions, though. Um, I particularly like this uh, um, Urban Outlaw version, which is really cool. Nice metallic gray. And then this yellow one I also think is really fantastic. Such a cool truck for a little mini truck. I don't know. I like it. Don't know why I like it, but I do. Uh, then we have the 55 Chevy in a metallic red and uh, this uh, the earlier version of this was in blue and uh, was a super treasure hunt 
Um, I do not have either version of those, but it looks uh, looks really good with the front detail, and uh, it's much needed. It's like this this one. This was I think one of this from a Flames five pack I think, but without the front you know the front tampo on there, it's really it really is missing something. So getting that on there really makes a difference. They didn't do anything on the back, um, but but that's okay. So you still got side tampos, but with the addition of the front tampo makes a huge difference. It's very good. Very cool. All right. Then we have the 69 Chevy pickup. This uh, this casting originated in 2002 and then was retooled in 2020. So this is the retooled version. Um, and this is from Hot Wheels Art Cars, which is a wacky... Um, let's see, my wife that was an art teacher. She told me what this was based on. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to even try to say it because <laughs> I'm going to get it wrong. Um, I want to say Mondrian. That's what I think that's what I would say anyway that probably not I'm sure I'm wrong um, but uh, yeah so this was the first version that uh, the retooled version of it was came out in this green with the yellow yellow rim on the wheels um, yeah I don't know the art card version art cars version is pretty cool um, I think I like the green one better but nice to have a new version all right um, and we got another pair of cars so we have the 87 Ford Sierra Cosworth the original release in black and then the recolor in a metallic blue and the black version was in B case and the metallic blue version is an F case and I'm a big fan of the the uh, Sierra Cosworth. I think it's a it's a very cool car. So I'm very happy to see that Hot Wheels has done this. Um, this is obviously inspired by the Texaco livery uh, in the black and red. And then you know a simple simple recolor of the of the black car. But, you know, since this is inspired by the Texaco livery and the, the Cosworth is, or the Sierra Cosworth is such a cool car, we do have to take a look at this to see what you can get. This is what this car is based on, or inspired by, I should say. So this is the NO64 uh, Sierra Cosworth, which is just a, a absolutely amazing model um, of the, you know, the more realistic livery which is very cool so I just thought I would throw that in there uh, so you can see what you can get if you want to spend 20 times the price as what Hot Wheels does but for a you know one dollar car these are awesome um, I've definitely it took me a while to find these um, they were actually fairly difficult for me to find so happy to finally have found both versions uh, together and you know this was a new new casting this year so there weren't any other prior versions of it and this is another new for 2022 casting uh this awesome porsche 935 this thing is fantastic i love this casting looks really cool in black and gold um makes you think of the the uh uh, JPS logo or JPS livery Johnny player special John player special sorry uh, very famous racing liveries I don't know if that's really what it's inspired by but it may be um, this was the original release earlier this year in red I think it's definitely a winner in black looks fantastic in black the red version was awesome but this black version looks really cool love this one very nice Then we have the 83 Silverado, Chevy Silverado in green. Um, 
And I thought this was the first version of this one that I had as well. And it's, uh, so this was some kind of change. There's change in the uh, tooling um, in, I think it was 2020, if I remember right, or if I, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm spacing on this. I don't know what the change was, um, but was I, as I was digging around looking to see if I had another version of this, I realized that I did have this one, uh, which was a premium release. This came with uh, one of the Hot Wheels uh, display cases. So this was the exclusive that came with the, with the display case. And... So I'm not sure what the change was because there were prior mainline releases of this and maybe they made this piece plastic here to save a little bit of metal. I don't I don't know what the prior I don't have any other prior mainline releases. So I don't I don't know what else changed. Maybe that's what it was. So that looks like that's piece of the interior. So maybe they did that just to save a little bit more metal. Because in here it's it's part of the body, um, but as I was digging around looking for additional versions, I also realized that I had this version, um, which I have never bothered to open. <laughs> so pretty cool. So let's open it. Um, so we get a little little premium. Hot Wheels bonus. So the blacked blacked out grill and the Borla logo all around. When I I grabbed this, this is one of these things where I just grabbed it because I found it in the store. It wasn't something that that was super interesting to me, um, which is why I've never opened it. I've had it sitting on the shelf for I don't know, probably eight or nine months at this point. Um, and had figured I would probably just end up giving it to somebody else. But, you know, we needed another example of this casting, so, so that's pretty cool. So there we go, another premium Silverado, and then the mainline Silverado. Very nice. And then you also have this, uh, what is this, the GMC Cyclone pickup black with Borla livery. Then in black again, the McLaren F1. Such a cool car. Such a cool casting from Hot Wheels. And this is a gloss black and has a pretty decent front tampos. Actually quite quite nice looking rear tampos. And uh, just all around, a very cool looking car. Um, earlier this year, so this is a new casting this year. It came out in silver originally. And we now get it in black. Uh, actually, this came out in uh, 2021, I believe. Um, I swear I had made a note of this. <laughs> Oh, McLaren, yeah, 2021 in silver, and then this is 2022, and then there's a recolor of this coming in papaya orange, and papaya orange is the, uh, you know, well-known McLaren color, paint color, that they have used on their cars since the late 60s, but very cool, love this casting. All right, I've got quite the quite the collection of cars building up here, and then we have another new casting. This one is the LB Super Silhouette Nissan Silvia S15. This thing looks pretty cool. Silhouette cars, sil silhouette racers are always a, a fantastic thing. It's pretty neat to see Hot Wheels do this. Um, based on the Sylvia 
and uh, looks pretty good. So they did the, I guess the window piece or the interior. It looks more like it's probably the interior for the headlights and the tail lights. That's kind of interesting design. And then you have a gray plastic base and uh, black wheels. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, something we'll be taking a look at, a little bit of a, a teaser, is uh, we have a NO64. This is a Skyline, not, not the uh, uh, Sylvia, but um, it's a resin model of a Silhouette racer that uh, we'll be looking at in a future a weekly uh, weekly video then the last Hot Wheels within another new casting and something that Nissan's really really stepped up their game with is this Nissan Z Proto um, which is I believe going to come on the market as the Nissan 400Z and this looks pretty cool The uh, on this the the wheels actually look a little small to me. It's kind of interesting. I don't know, but uh, you get tampos on the front and tampos on the back. Nice crisp tampo work on the back as well, which is pretty cool. Um, but I think I think this is going to be a be a pretty cool car. I, I was never that big a car of the prior generation of the Z cars. Uh, the you know the 300 to 370 or whatever that that range ran it was kind of a a rounded bubble look so this is kind of a a mixture between the older 280 260 280 z's and that 300 series so it's gone gone a little bit back to the roots and i think it's going to be a much cooler looking car i'm sure we're going to see quite a few premium versions of this car come out um which will be uh pretty pretty interesting because Nissan has definitely licensed um, stuff pretty widely to premium diecast brands so I suspect we'll see quite a few few releases of this in in premium and super premium versions which will be very nice all right so next up we have a couple matchbox releases this is from the retro series um, this is a target exclusive. So this is a six car series. Normally, this is one of my favorite series. Um, I have I've been a big fan of every release, and this particular mix is to me not a not that great. Um, I I found this Eclipse and the Cuda. I did find this Dodge D two hundred and this uh, International Scout. I, I skipped those completely, and I have not found this Honda or the Nissan Xterra yet, but. Overall, this is a fairly weak weeks release to me. Um, so it has this uh, 70 Plymouth Cuda, which I think is an okay casting. Um, it uh, it definitely sits awfully high, um, when and it's never really looked all that right to me. But uh, so you get uh, details on the sides and the front. Nothing in the back, but it is, yeah, I mean, it's a nice metallic green. It's an okay casting, like I said. Not my favorite version of a, of a Cuda, for sure, as I do generally think it's a very cool car, but it really needs to sit lower. I think it looks really cool when it sits lower. This kind of this is like almost like an off-road version of the car. I don't know if that's what they were going for or... Or what they were trying to do with this, but it just it, it sits too high <clears throat> for me, anyways. And then the uh, the other version or the other Matchbox car in this same retro series is this Mitsubishi Eclipse in metallic orange. This is a really old casting, came out in 2005, and uh, 
hadn't been issued for a while until it was issued in the Retro series. Um, so the first version of this was in this um, Metal Flake Red. And, uh, and then we get it again in the Retro series in Metal Flake Orange. Um, kind of a weird looking casting as well. And uh, I guess a little bit of a weird looking car. But uh, I don't know. For me, I think the red one looks better with the five spoke wheels. And otherwise, they're pretty much the same. Tampos are all the same. Although, yeah, yeah, they're the same. So, all right. Well, I think that about does it. Thank you for watching.